Hello everyone, I am Pepino here, and as you can see, we are stuck out in the middle of a rainstorm uh, on our boat. And there's nothing here other than this little torch. And I guess this little place will have to be our shelter. But actually, this isn't really a little shelter, because when I click this torch, it's not a normal torch, it's a torch lever, thanks to the Secret Rooms mod made by Abrar Syed, and the concept was thought of by yours truly. Uh, basically, over the summer, I had the idea. I think that it would be cool if, uh, like in movies, like those old horror movies, you just pull a book off a shelf and the wall opens up. And so I suggested the idea on the thread on the Minecraft forums. And Abrar Syed picked it up and liked it. Uh, and so it is now a mod. And it's really cool because look at this. I've got this glass wall here. Now let's go check this wall out. Alright, you following me? The wall was looking out at all those boats. But there's no wall there. Well, that's because one-way glass. It is camouflaged glass that will take the form of the blocks around it. So whatever block you place it on, it will take that form. So we've also got a secret room right up here. And again, there was no wall there, or there was no glass there. It was just a solid stone wall. But, it is actually a secret hidden room. One other thing is, I'll show you, because for some of you who have seen some of my videos, you might know that I'm not great with redstone. Well, there's not really a lot of redstone involved in this. I mean, if you look at this, there's no redstone because this is redstone not only are there hidden levers in the bookshelves but there's hidden redstone so these bookshelves are right now are actually carrying the current to the pistons down here so completely redstone free or at least visible redstone free which looks a lot better so all of you who aren't great at redstone can have really cool secret rooms and even for those of you who are now you can have even more secretive rooms using this one-way block technology you can use your secret room to watch over your villagers watch out for mobs or even people on a server you want to make sure that no one's messing around in your mind well you can do that using this mod anyone see where the secret surveillance room could be well, it's right over here. You would never know. You just replace these two blocks, and you can catch any intruders red-handed. You can even hide your mine shaft completely. Now that I've effectively blown your mind, I'm sure you're going to wonder how to craft some of this stuff. Well, I'm going to show you. So let's start with the easiest, the torch lever. You place your torch on top of redstone, and you have a torch lever, which you can place and activate redstone, just like that. It'll work uh, through a block. You just place your torch lever on the block and activate the redstone. That's how I did the door down there. Then, we'll get a little more complicated with the hidden bookshelf lever. What you're going to do is you're going to want to make a bookshelf, but the middle book is replaced by a lever. And you get nine hidden levers. Then, the hidden redstone. Whoops. What you're going to want to do is, again, make a bookshelf, but instead of a lever, you're going to have 
redstone. So you've got your hidden redstone. And then using your pistons, let's put a piston right there. And here. Ta da! This is the lever. These are the redstone. And it carries it nicely and you don't have any of that messy redstone wiring going everywhere exposing your secret rooms. Then we're gonna get to one of the things that I think is the most fun. It's the one-way camo blocks. Uh, you're gonna want an ender pearl and glass like that. Then you're gonna want wood planks, stone, and dirt. And you have camouflage one-way block. So we're going to build with this here. All right, as you can see there. Now, what it's going to do is the direction you're facing, that's where the camo is going to be. So, you're going to want to come out to this side here and see yep, you're going to want to be facing this way. And that's the way the camo is going to be. I invented a little trap that we can use with this mod. Uh ignore this platform cuz it's just here for testing. But this looks like an ordinary cliff face, right? It's actually a highly deadly sniper position. Uh, using the one-way technology, you can't see in, but you can see out. So, basically, what's going to happen is you go into your sniper post, cover it up, and sneak so they couldn't see your name on a server. Then you wait for someone to walk in front of this dispenser when you would push this button, hitting them with an arrow, and they wouldn't know what hit them because they wouldn't see you, and this, there's no pressure plate there, and what happens is this piston goes down, right there, whoops, piston goes down, and then this is slightly delayed, so when the piston's down for a split second, the arrow shoots, then as soon as the arrow shoots, the block rises back up, hiding the dispenser. And since they didn't step on a pressure plate, they don't think they've uh, triggered a trap, and they assume someone has shot them from somewhere, like they could be hiding. So they would look around for whoever shot them, but unable to find them, hopefully they would run away, or you could kill them and steal their stuff. But uh, ideally they would run away, leaving your base safe, and unharmed. So we are going to test this with a pig. Alright, put a couple so they hopefully one of them will stay in there. I've been having trouble getting them to stay in their little testing area, but I can't close it off completely. But alright, so he's standing in front of it, and there. Get shot, and just rapid fire, although I wouldn't suggest rapid fire on a player because they would eventually look around, but pigs it's okay. But basically you're just going to want to one shot them, they'll get hit, they'll be very confused, and your base will be safe. Do you have a friend who puts their crafting table in their wall of their house like this? Well you control them using this mod. Because when you click on this, whoop, see what happened? It's not actually a crafting table. It's a one-way glass block. What you do is you gotta just break the wall around where their crafting table is gonna be. Then you put the crafting table down and then you put one block behind it, put the one-way glass like that, and then you fill it in and it looks like their crafting table is in the wall but it's not actually a crafting table and they will click on it and get very very confused look it's a spider jockey I bet he wants you to go download this mod right yeah 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 he's nodding he wants you to go download the mod and I'm pretty sure you want to go download it too as I randomly fly around this minecraft world think about all the epic possibilities that could be created with this mod it could be used for adventure maps, servers, or even just your own single player world to make some awesome stuff. Then, as soon as I'm done flying over this Minecraft world, 
go check out the mod. I will have a link to the download thread on the forums in the description for this video. And once again, a big thanks to Abrar Syed for making the mod. This is I'm Pepino saying thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more awesome videos. We'll see you next time.